Hi everyone and welcome to another vlog. My name is Claire Carl Michael, I'm a registered nurse and today we're going to talk about writing reports for quality improvement. Firstly, you want to think what sort of improvement do you want to make wherever you are? What are you going to write about for your report? And I have to say, I've never really written a quality improvement before. The only experience I've had with this was when we had to do our dissertation, not called dissertation anymore, at university for our third year and we had to write an improvement and something that we wanted to put into place after we'd gone through all of the research and things like that. So I'm going to use that experience and bring it into the vlog today to help you hopefully write it well. So like I said, the first thing you need to know is what you're going to improve. What is it that you want to change? And what people like to see is evidence and research. So have a look at the things that are going on. Have a look at if there's any audits out there, if there's any reports been done, if there's any kind of guidelines or policies or anything like that that you can use that's going to help you to say, here is the evidence, mainly audits are good for this. This is what's happening, What here's what's going wrong, but here's what I wanna to do to improve it. And a little tip I wanna give here, don't reinvent the wheel. There are so many different trusts out there. If there's something that another area is doing that you can bring in that's gonna work in your workplace, use that. Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't create your own projects. Don't set up things and create things if you don't need to. That's hard work, guys. Just go in, do your research on what's out there already before even thinking about putting in things in place. And another thing, if you haven't already heard of these people, this group, they're called the Fab Academy or the Academy of Fab Stuff. If you Google them, there's a website and they share all the good stuff, all the things that people have improved, all the things that people have put in place to help the healthcare system, to help patients, to help colleagues, anything like that. And they share it, they share it across the board so that people can have a look and say, okay, I wanna put this in place. So I'm gonna take that from them. I'm gonna to speak to them and see what I can do to improve. People have uploaded documents, forms, things like that, that the transferable that you can use in your workplace. So have a look on there as well. That's a really, really good resource if you're looking for improvements for your workplace. So you're gonna find your improvement. What needs improvement? You're gonna gather your evidence for your improvement to say, this is why it needs improvement. This is what the audits show. This is my evidence to say that something needs to change. That's a good start. You are then gonna do your research, make sure there's nothing already out there available, or if there is, get that thing that you want to put into your workplace that's already out there available, and just start to show the steps that you wanna take to make the change. And once you've found your improvement that you need to put into place, then you have to show, okay, what impact is this gonna have? Why am I putting this particular thing in place? So you have to show the evidence, the research that's already been done into these improvements. If you're bringing something in that's been done in another trust, for example, show what's happened, what impact has that had on that trust and how has it benefited that trust as a result. You need to show the impact of your patients. Is it going to provide better quality care? Is it going to be improved services for your patients, etc.? Is it going to impact your colleagues? Is it going to make a better work environment for your colleagues? Is it going to make the workload easier? What impact is it having on everybody around you? yourself, your colleagues, management, the patients, and then don't forget finance, because if it's gonna save them money, they're gonna snap your idea up like a lot. So you've discovered your change that needs to happen. You've gathered your evidence, you've gathered your research to say, this isn't working, this is why it's not working. You've had a look, you've found some really good improvements that are in other trusts that you could implement into your trust, tick. Uh, if there's not, okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna implement? How are you gonna implement it? and how you're gonna evidence that that's gonna work. And then you're gonna show the impact of your new improvement. How is it gonna function? How, is the, how does it look? How is it gonna work? How is it gonna better practice as a result and provide best care practice as a result? And also how to implement change. Now there's many, many change techniques out there. So have a little search, do your research, do a little Google search and look for change management, look for change projects, how to implement change as well. I did do another video on change and implementing change, which might help with this video. So have a look at that as well. And it takes you through all the different criteria. So you've got all the components of writing up change or implementing change for quality improvement, something that's gonna help the workplace, something that's gonna improve quality. It says what it does on the tin, it does what it says on the tin. I knew what I meant. <laughs> so you've got all those things. So how do you write that? So like I said, you need all these components in your written report. 
you need to structure it really really well start from the beginning like i said initially put subheadings put your subheadings okay what have i discovered what is going wrong what needs improvement where is the evidence what evidence have i got audits anything like that you need to put it all like that the next step is okay what research is already out there if there's nothing out there if there's no improvements out there what are you going to put in place how are you going to do that how are you going to monitor it how are you going to assess whether it's working or not and then another head in to say okay here's the change here's how it's going to work here's the benefits here's what it's going to do and just structure it that way and really put it in there make sure you put as much evidence any research that you found any audit papers policies guidelines anything like that need to go in there this needs to be really really thorough for a quality improvement and not only that but you want to enter the smart goals so you want to put like your short-term goals medium-term goals long-term goals alongside this this will really get you some brownie points i think if you can put those things in there what do you want to achieve when do you want to achieve it by why do you want to achieve this just putting those little things along the way to show a timeline how you're going to monitor it how you're going to audit it how you're going to assess if the change has worked make sure you end with that your conclusion is going to be this is why i'm doing this this is the amazing change that's going to happen and this is how i'm going to audit it to make sure this 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 improvement has happened and i hope that makes sense i hope i've explained that right and i've given you enough to write and start writing your quality improvement for your assignment for your dissertation anything like that and just while i'm talking about that if you are writing this for university for a report or assignment or a dissertation make sure you are going by your university guidelines it doesn't matter what i say i could tell you all sorts of nonsense and you put it all in there and you could fail i'm just giving you those steps to do the research to implement you always have to go by your university guidelines do what they say not as i say if that makes sense but i'm just giving you the tips and advice to help you along the way just to make it make more sense in your head and then you can go back to your university you can look at your assignment brief or dissertation brief or whatever and just go oh yeah okay this is what they're expected of me if that makes sense and if this is something that you're writing for let's say the nhs in, in a trust that you're in have a look at what's already out there have a look and ask people what quality improvements are out there what reports are out there and have a look at them so then you can gauge what you need to put into your report as well so this was a very short and sweet video thank you so much everyone for coming and joining and watching this video i hope it's given you some sort of advice along the way if there's any other videos that you want me to do or thank you so much to the person that requested this video as well i hope it really helps you um if there's any other information or anything you need message me comment whatever and if anyone else wants any videos or as if they, you can think of something that you think oh i don't know if claire's covered this yet put a comment below and i will cover it anything that that you want me to sort of go over any help advice for placement assignments i've already done like placement tips and assignment tips and things like that but if there's anything i haven't covered just ask me and i will try my best to cover it even if i don't know it I will try and cover it and do my research and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not going to give you false information because that's not okay. Um, but if I know something and I can do the research and I can provide you with some stuff and advice and things like that, then I will absolutely do it. So, yeah. For now, it's goodbye from me and have an amazing week, everyone.